In this video, we're going to look at how we get from moles of an element, such an important unit in chemistry, to finding the atoms of an element. So the first thing we want to do, just like any problem, is to read the question. How many atoms are in 1.3 moles of sodium? So it's asking for atoms and it's giving us moles. So the first thing we want to do is say, well, what are we starting with? And so that's our moles here. So we're going to label that as our start. And we're going to lay atoms as our end. And what we're worried about is what relationships do I know between atoms and moles. Now this is actually independent of the substance we're talking about. But we know that one mole contains 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Remember mole is just a counting number just like a dozen. The number just happens to be a little bit bigger. So we start with our given number here 1.3 moles. I know that when I set up the problem moles must go on the bottom because I need moles to cancel out and so I say one mole on the bottom and I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. And so now I get moles cancels with moles. The units I'm left with are atoms. So now I can do the calculation on my calculator now that I know that my units are set up correctly. So 1.3 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And I end up with 7.8 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of sodium.